What's going on everybody? It's Big Fly here. So I wanted to get this out much sooner than it's getting out. I've actually been battling COVID. So I've been in and out of being super tired and sleeping and resting and just not having the energy to do it. I finally have the energy. So this is going to be the my reaction to Moon Knight's official trailer on Disney Plus. I am so stoked for this. I am so excited for Disney to actually be taking a chance in doing this show. I know we've been hearing that it was coming up and stuff, but I haven't really looked into it until I saw the trailer. I'm very excited that Oscar Isaac is going to be in it because I love I love him as an actor and I, I just love the passion he has for some of the comic book movies and just the comic book characters in general. So that's really cool. I'm very curious to see how Disney is going to play this dissociative identity disorder that he has. Um, I know some of the comics actually refer to it as schizophrenia, which is not the same thing. And I'm hoping that Disney Plus doesn't do that and that they don't actually you know, turn it into something else. You know, like maybe like, a, I don't know, a sleeping disorder or bipolar or something, something like something like that. I'm hoping that they stick to the stick to the script, for lack of a better term, and make sure that, you know, they, they do justice to him having dissociative identity disorder, you know, and, and, and him having his four identities. I, I know his main one is Mark Spector, Stephen Grant, which is like a billionaire businessman, right? And then he has a Jake Lockley who's like a cab driver and then obviously the 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 hooded knight right or mr knight which is moon knight so I'm, I'm curious to see if they're gonna change those a little bit if they're gonna have those same characters that we're used to in the comics and just how they're going to do this dissociative identity disorder how they're going to paint that picture of that disorder and how the character uses it um, so i'm very i'm very excited I'm coming into this being very optimistic. I don't know much about the character minus those traits, kind of how he came to be. There's a lot of people that are kind of, for lack of a better term, comparing Moon Knight to, you know, Batman and the Dark Knight. And I, I, I don't know if I would necessarily do that. They're very similar in that they're, you know, they go out in the night and they fight bad guys, they fight bad entities and they're bad ass, right? Both of them are badass. But I think their origin stories are much different. While Batman is extremely tragic compared to Moon Knight, I think that one's very human, while Moon Knight is very ethereal and, and otherworldly. So uh, I don't really see the comparison there, in my opinion. But uh, let's get into it. I'm very excited to see what they're gonna do with this. And the trailer thumbnail looks amazing. Just seeing the Moon Knight you know, get up is really cool. So let's get into it. We're gonna react to this. I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time. I'm gonna react to it once, do an initial reaction, in this, an initial breakdown of what I saw, and then we're gonna watch it again together. I'm gonna pause the recording and I'll watch it a few more times, then we'll talk about some other things I might not have seen and go from there. Um, so let's get into it. All right, the Moon Knight trailer on Disney Plus. Here we go. Rupik's Cube. I have a sleeping disorder. I can't sleeping disorder. Between my waking All right. eyes and dreams. Hello and welcome to Okay, so we're playing it as he thinks he has a sleeping disorder. <laughs> nice face plant. Find yourself to the bed so you don't get in the mischief. Got it. I like the kid cuddy. We'll catch you on. Your brother useless. Stevie. Steven. There's Steven. I can't tell the difference between eyes and dreams. Thank you. Lost <laughs> the contact lens. Hope you find it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Whoa, did you guys see that? That's super eerie it's an old phone oh my god you're alive what's wrong with you mark why did you call me mark because you are mark it must be very difficult whoa in your head. didn't expect to see him here there's chaos in you i'm not sure who that character is holy shit Yo, that looks sick. Yep, the suit looks awesome. I 
I did like that at, at, at night finish. Man, the suit looks cool. I liked the transition of the suit kind of almost like, like Venom style, right? Where it just kind of envelops him. The suit looks awesome. I think the grittiness and the, the tone in this trailer at least is really cool. It's a lot darker. MCU and Disney Plus has right now been, for the shows at least, kind of experimenting with darker undertones. I feel uh, while it had some dark moments that uh, Hawkeye was a little bit more on the comedy side just because of Kate alone and Yelena. Side note, MCU, please have more of Yelena. Please more, more. We all want more Yelena. I think that that's really cool that MCU is kind of experimenting more with the dark undertones. And I think they're also preparing us for what's going to come with Doctor Strange and the uh, Multiverse of Madness. Because that's supposed to be like MCU's first horror film, which is really cool. Um, but back to the trailer. This looks awesome. There's a lot of stuff that I noticed that we're kind of going to go through here real quick already in the first run through. Um, I might notice some more things, but I'd, I'm not sure who Ethan Hawke's character is. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with the comics, so don't hate me. You can mention in the comments who you think he is, but I don't, I'm don't. i not really familiar who, with who his character is, so. But that's cool to see Ethan Hawke. I know he's a big like comic book guy, or com he's a big superhero person, and he's one of the ones that's been praising these comic book movies from the get-go, so. But let's go through this again, and, and I can kind of show you guys what I saw, and then you guys can let me know anything I missed. Rubik's Cube there. Hello, and welcome to He's taping the door so he can't get out, it looks like. I can't tell the difference between my waking life and dreams. Hello. So his waking life and dreams, because they're all real, they're just his different, you know, personalities and his dissociative identity disorder, right? So that makes sense. This whole, I don't know if he's crying or laughing there, but I think he's crying. This whole scene, has to be later on in the show because he's tied himself to the bed now so he knows it's not a sleeping disorder. This would be my guess. So this has to be later on in the show, right? I'm losing it. This remix of Kid Cudi is awesome. So they're they're going to get into the Egyptian mythology stuff, which is... Part of his origin story and i'm not gonna i don't want to give too much away for those of you who don't know it but that that's part of his mythology and part of the whole origin story for moon knight so i'm sure they're going to get into all of that stuff Stevie. steven i can't tell the difference between eyes and dreams so he's seen some of the monsters and some of his other personalities Hope you find it. Coming ahead. I can't believe it's gonna be March. So I don't know. So it's really cool, like the way they're they're doing this, kind of having like his two his different personalities fighting each other or kind of noticing each other but not interacting very much. He's walking away with his reflection, kind of watching him walk away. And there's you notice there's two of them, not just one. There's two of them watching him go. It's really, that's cool attention to detail that I noticed. That's a really cool. In the trailer, we haven't seen the fourth, right? We've seen Steven. We've seen, we've heard Mark's name. And we haven't heard the other one. And we've seen Moon Knight, so. And the fact that this is an old phone, right? And I like how it, as he picks up the phone, the song is saying, hold the phone. This is an old phone. So I'm assuming that Mark's been gone for a little while, guys. I don't, I don't know how long he's supposed to have been gone, but. Yeah. Oh my God, you're alive! What's wrong with you, Mark? Why did you call me Mark? I must be very difficult. Yeah, I don't know who this character is supposed to be, but it looks like some type of cult leader or something. This chaos in you. And that that scene looked like some kind of asylum that he's in, right? All white. White lights, white walls, white shirt. And he's going crazy. Embrace the chaos. And this whole transition. That's pretty clean. I don't know. I, I think that looks really sick. 
MCU and, and their CGI is really good, so. And he's beating up on a monster. The monster he saw coming in the elevator. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm really stoked for this. This is really cool. Um, look, I've been surprised by every single MCU show as of late. So the fact that this is just another one coming out and it's coming out in March, I have high hopes for it. Moon Knight is one of those risks that Marvel's taking kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy where it's not such a known character. Uh, Shang-Chi, which I've been hearing is great. I still haven't seen it and I need to, but all these characters that people thought weren't going to work were actually kind of the shining lights of the MCU. So I'm really stoked for this and the actors that are in this and kind of the tone that they're presenting. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Anything I miss, anything I got wrong. I love hearing from you. I'm always open for criticism. Um, it would be great if you guys could like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It helps me on the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching this with me. And remember, good vibes are contagious.